Lord, thank you so much for who you are. Thank you for allowing us to be in a space where we can worship you and we can worship you freely. And we can lay the things that are, are burdening us, that we, we're carrying, that are hard and difficult. We can lay that at the door when we walk in. And we can just sit and dwell in the presence of you. And God, that's what we want to focus on tonight, is we just want to focus on who you are. We want to focus on the good that you bring, the good that you bring to our lives, the good that you bring to this world, even though it seems like there's not a lot of good right now. So, Father, we are thankful and we are expectant that you are going to be here. You are going to move. That's why we're here tonight, is to come and to seek you. We're here tonight to dwell in who you are and to remember who you are. Lord, I just ask that you be in this place, God. Be with the people who are on the live stream, Lord. Be with those who couldn't be here tonight. God, we're open for the things that you have for us. Our hearts, our minds, our hands. We are open to accept the things that you want to bring into our lives. Lord, let us walk away from tonight not like we walked in. God, let us be filled rejuvenated feel that that desire that you have for us let us feel that tonight when we leave here and it's in your name that we pray all these things amen hey tonight you got you got the freedom this is an open space to be able to engage and to be able to dig in the way you feel like he's leading you to tonight so tonight, if you want to stand or move around the room, do it. This space is for you to be able to, to engage in that, to listen, to hear. We know God's going to speak to us and show us things.
Take what I have known and break it all apart. Cause you, my God, are greater still. And no sky can taste, no doubt restrains all you are. The greatness of our God. I spent my life to know that I'm far from close to all you are. The greatness of our God. Give me grace to see beyond this moment here to believe that there is nothing left to fear and that you alone are high above it all you my God are greater still and no sky of our God I spent my life to know that I'm far from close to all you are the greatness of our God no sky and no sky just to think about your greatness. You are good, God. So when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he sat down, his disciples came to him. And then he began to speak. And he taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. 
Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And with those upside-down announcements of good news and presence, Jesus kicked off the greatest sermon ever spoken. Blessed, oh blessed, oh blessed, oh blessed. If you're a giver, not a taker, walk the earth as a peacemaker. Oh blessed, oh blessed, when you feel at your weakest. Still you keep your heart open Oh, blessed Oh, blessed Oh, blessed And you forgive When you are hurt Share your food and give your shirt Oh, blessed Oh, blessed And you keep your heart pure even when you're unsure oh blessed oh blessed oh blessed oh blessed and the words from the hill they're speaking still and they save us over and again sing it
blessed, oh blessed, oh blessed, oh blessed. Oh, blessed. You've come. Be love to be nearer to us. 
Your glory is so beautiful. I fall onto my knees in awe. And the heartbeat of my life is to worship in your life.
we don't want tonight to be, uh, you know, this is a great opportunity for us to come in and be able to worship and you enjoy it. There are some people who actually have sent in some prayer requests and we want them to have a, enjoy their night too, right? It's interesting to me because one of the things that worship does is that when you begin to speak something, you know how it is, uh, actions speak louder than words, you know? And I think sometimes we forget, this will help you with your prayer life. Listen, when you speak something out, sometimes I think we undervalue it. But God wants to know, wants you to know enough that actually Paul even says, do everything without complaining. The reason is because complaining actually partners with a voice opposite of what God wants for someone. Prayer actually partners with what God does want for someone. And so there's a powerful thing that happens in prayer. There's a great story in the Bible where Jesus comes to his own hometown and it says that he wasn't able to do very many miracles there. And it says he was amazed at their lack of faith. And I used to think that was just because of what they said about him and they kind of just, you know, their words dictated him. But I think part of it was because they didn't believe enough to bring people to him. So he couldn't heal anybody because nobody was brought to him. They didn't have enough faith to bring somebody to him. And it's easy to stand in a room and sing songs about him. But if you really believe that he is good, then he's not just good for you in this moment. He's good for these people, too. And we get to stand in position tonight, and there have been hundreds of prayer requests sent in because they believed something was going to happen in this room tonight and that there were going to be people like you that would show up and actually, on, on their behalf, actually begin to cry out. And I think the power of this is, is we're singing about how God good, how good God is, and I can feel it in the room. I can feel the goodness of God just begin to come down. But remember, when he begins to lift a burden off of you, it's not just for you. It's so that you get to help lift it off of somebody else. And when you really get to see the greatness of who God is, the problem is, is with the Pharisees, they would go in and they would worship every day. They prayed every day. They showed up to church every day, but they forgot what was important to God. And we didn't show up tonight just to sing pretty songs and just so we could get a touch. We actually showed up tonight to find out what's important to him. And what's important to him are some people who didn't make it tonight. And some of you need a touch in your own body. Some of you need a touch in your own situations. But I would encourage you with this tonight. The Bible says, pray for others that you yourself may be healed. Because I believe when you begin to pray for healing for someone else, I don't believe it just comes uh, to you. I believe it will come through you. And I believe God wants to demonstrate himself on your behalf tonight. So would you take these in your hand? And actually, I'm just going to ask you, maybe there's some, some of them don't have any names. Some of them have names on there. But we're just going to keep on worshiping. We're just going to take the next few minutes. And I'm just going to ask you to do everything you can. I know some of you got a lot going on in your own life. But just take a second. And if you're online, you know, there's some of you that have sent in prayer requests. And we're just going to believe God right now is going to begin to act on your behalf. But I'm going to ask you to start praying for somebody else. Start thinking of somebody else. And you may not have these in front of you, but you know somebody else who could use prayer. So we're going to use this time to worship God and to make some declarations over some people. So God, I just pray right now over these prayer requests. And we're going to pray over them for the next several minutes. We're going to worship over them. We're going to declare you're good. And I speak specifically to this husband who just had back surgery. We believe you are a healing God. So I ask that you would reach down your hand right now and every part of his back, every muscle, every joint, every part right now, God, I ask that you would just pour out your healing oil. I pray right now for this marriage. I pray for a quickening in this marriage. You know these names that are on here. You know what people are going through. But we come into agreement with your word right now. And we silence every voice of the enemy that wants to divide marriages, that wants to pull what you have put together. He wants to pull that apart. We speak life into marriages right now. We speak against cancer right now. Right now, I speak against cancer in the name of Jesus. By your stripes, we are healed. By the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we proclaim the name of Jesus over cancer. Every knee will bow and every tongue will confess, and that includes cancer right now in the name of Jesus. So as they continue to pray, would you grab on to one of these, two of these, three of these, and just begin to declare the goodness of God over their lives.
the world
Forever I'm changed by your love. Forever I'm changed. Forever I am changed by your love. Forever. Forever I am changed by your love. In the presence of your majesty. of writing a song with David and Leslie for the Beatitudes Project. And this song really explores the theme of the poor in spirit. And the fact that when we are at the bottom of life with nothing left, nowhere else to go, that the blessing is that God is on our side. He will make a way. When darkness is our only friend, you We're longing for the hope of man. You will, you will, you will make a way. You will make a way for us, for us. You will make a way. You will make a way for us.
inside my heart I can't get round it Keeps the two of us apart I can't get over it And under my skin Is where you begin And your kindness leads me now When you took your broken heart and fed the world with it, you gave us all a brand new start. I can't get over it, and under my skin, forgiveness sets in, and your kindness leads me now. Spirit within is leading me home. Oh, mercy, Jesus, Son of God. Oh, You give light, you are love, you bring light to the darkness, you give hope, you restore every heart that is broken. And great are you, Lord. Children, our lost, so we put out our praise, we pour out our praise, it's your bread and our lost, so we pour out our praise to you. Oh. 
Your
Father, we just thank you so much, Lord, that you did put breath in our lungs. And you're the reason why we live, move, and have our being. And we thank you that we get to stand here together in unity and worship you in freedom. And we just pray um, right now, we just want to take a moment for those brothers and sisters around the world who don't have the freedom that we get to enjoy in this country. And we just lift them up to you and we pray that you would remind them of um, the rest of the body of Christ and that you would give them hope and encouragement and that they would cling to you, Lord, and that you would just guide them by your Holy Spirit. And we just pray for everyone watching, everyone who has submitted prayer requests, that you would move on their behalf, that you would answer their prayers, and that we would be reminded even throughout the next few days to continue to lift them up in prayer. We thank you for your presence tonight, and we thank you for um, just your grace, and, and it's because of you that we, we gather together and we express our worship to you, Lord. So thank you. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you for your presence. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much, guys, for coming out. Um, thank you guys for watching. And uh, we want to stay connected with you. So if you would like to know about the upcoming uh, Night of Worship events, we're doing these every other month. So you can... Um, sign up on weareworship.com for our newsletter. You can follow us on social media. It's just We Are Worship USA. Um, and you'll be able to stay up to date on what's going on. And we would also love to just hear from you. If you have, you know, answered prayers from tonight, um, you can shoot us an email through the website. But can we, can we give these guys a hand? Thank you, guys.